Oh my god, it's a kingfish, I think. Where's my gaff? It's on the other side of the boat. Ah, I wanted it. Yeah, baby. No, I got him. I got him. <laughs> I got myself a box of fishing goodies. You know, I might have splurged a little bit, but actually not that much because everything inside of this box was just a hundred dollars. And this right here is Timu, which is this video's sponsor. And what Timu is, is a website with extremely cheap products that look awesome. Everything from clothing to electronics to just literally anything including fishing gear. And at first when Timu reached out to me, they were like, hey, how about you get $100 of stuff off of our website and then uh, take it fishing? And at first I thought, well, $100 uh, really doesn't get you that much fishing gear these days. I don't know. But then I went on their website and I was like, okay, this is different. I can get some really nice stuff for really cheap. So let's open this up and see what I got myself at extreme discount. Oh, baby. We'll just start off with the very basic things, trolling lures. This right here is a very beautiful lure. When you're at Bass Pro Shops, a lure like this probably costs you 10 bucks, 12 bucks. Not on Timu. This thing was like 50 cents. <laughs> I was like, what? Yep, I'm a little skeptical. I know you probably are too right now. And that's why we're gonna take all this stuff fishing. I mean, here we got some bass lures, and you guys remember in the last fishing video, I trolled bass lures offshore and I caught some fish. So I got a bunch of bass lures that I ordered and we're gonna be trying all this stuff out. I mean, just more fishing lures. This says big game angler on it. So hopefully we get ourselves some big game. That's a big fish. All right, oh, we got lead weights. These are the kind of bite on lead weights that you would put on your fishing pole and you know, in a store, this probably might run you eight bucks or something. Not on Timu. This was like, I don't know, 90 cents. Just insane how cheap everything is. Nice little flashlight. Woo. Oh, there's different modes. Look at that. Woo. It's always good to have a flashlight in the, uh, in the tackle box. Ah, uh, yes. This right here is so I can have hot coffee while I'm out on the boat. It even comes with these little coffee cups, little thermos, boom. You know, in a store you'd probably pay 20, 30 bucks for something like this, and I'm pretty sure this was only like two or three dollars. More lures, more lures, bass lures, more dive plugs, sounds like weights. Do the check and macarena. Here we go, some more lead weights. These right here are swivels, barrel swivels. I'll put a couple in my hand. Show you guys a little close up. Here you go, these. They look good. They feel good. And we will put them to the test. Probably like 150 in here. <laughs> a couple dollars. Oh, baby! Nice little tumbler mug. Feels good. Okay, it doesn't smell like anything. That's a plus. I was a little worried about that. Ah, a couple of vertical jigging hooks. They look good. Definitely putting these to the test. More swivels, lots and lots of swivels in there. There's probably an, about another hundred swivels in there. Even more swivels. Oh, here's a couple of little worms. I was thinking about taking these crappie fishing because they just look so fun. Oh, that's a very fancy looking dive plug right there. Look at that boy. Yeah, troll that over the reef and we'll see what we get on. I do say they look pretty good. This would be great for bass fishing because you could really get into, like if a bass swallows your hook, you can really get up in there with those nice long necks. Ooh, a box with some exciting sounds. Oh, this might be the thing I'm most excited for. Look at that. What we have here are some amazing, very big dive plugs in all different shapes and sizes. different colors. I'm excited to test them out. See if we can get a fish to bite them. Smacked it. Look at all these dive plugs. Those things are like 20 bucks a pop at a tackle store. And 
these I think they're like 90 cents each. So whew. more lures, a spoon, more swivels, more swivels. That sounds like a oh ho ho. That's a fun looking dive plug. We're definitely gonna be trolling that sucker. Even more swivels. This is like 200 swivels in here. I'm never gonna have a barrel swivel problem ever again. And oh, these are big ones. These are good. Look at those. Those are really nice, big, fat, strong ones. Booyah, baby. More bass lures, more assist hooks, uh, more swivels. So we got all this fishing gear, all these swivels, canteens, turvises, rugs, pliers, hooks, lures, jigs, all of this for a hundred bucks. I don't know where else you're gonna find a deal like that. So huge shout out to Timu for hooking me up with all this stuff. We're gonna be taking it. I'm gonna be rigging up my rods and we're gonna be rigging up all of these things. We're gonna see how they swim. We're gonna troll them offshore and hopefully this video will be a catch and cook. Not, wait, not hopefully. This will be a catch and cook video because I will troll until something bites. I'm gonna put the link to Timu, this video sponsor, in the video description below. They have some amazing deals and if you use my link, you'll get an even better deal and you can get yourself all the fishing tackle or whatever you want for extremely cheap. I also saw a couple of drones on there for under 20 bucks. Go check it out and let's go fish. Welcome offshore where it's blowing about 20 knots. Good thing I have my new mic. Hopefully the wind isn't too loud, but it's rough out here, even though it might not look like it, but it's, it's a banger. <laughs> but we're going to try to troll these uh, lures, these 90 cent lures from Timu. Are they going to swim right? Are fish going to bite them? We got small ones, we got the big ones, we have bass lure shaped ones, and we got medium sized ones. I brought them all out. I rigged up all the rods with the Timu fishing lures. I also use all the little swivels and everything, all the gear that I got. So let's start trolling it and see how they perform. I will say though, there's seaweed and a lot of waves. So this is gonna be a tough test. I'm probably gonna end up uh, screwing something pretty bad. Did I also mention that there are buoys everywhere? Who puts buoys in the ocean? All right, we'll start off with our big boy. We will drop him in. Looking good, looking good and feisty. Woo! Man, these waves are crazy. Uh, the worst thing that could happen is I fall off the boat, and that would be pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. Up next, we have our little bass lure here, which looks good, and let's see if he swims. Oh my, he swims perfect. Damn, I can't even get my $10 lures to swim that good. So uh, I, I would say we're off to a good start. Both of our lures are swimming pretty good, and that was like my main concern. So two out of two swimming good. That's pretty good when it comes to dive plugs. I am having a very hard time keeping this boat in a straight line. I'm trying my best though. And here we got another lure, nice and colorful one, pretty big. That is like the perfect size for lures out here in my opinion, the bigger the better. Oh, and the boat's spinning again. This lure swims really good too. I'm actually uh, impressed with how they're swimming. They, they swim better than my like $30 Nomad lures. <laughs> Let's try a different shape. This is a pink, purple, pink one, a medium sized one. Let's see if that one swims. If this one swims good, then I'm giving a two thumbs up on performance. Whoops. All right, let's see here. No way. I don't think you can see it on camera, but he's behind the boat perfectly staying underwater like It's exactly what you want out of a dive lure. You don't want them zigging off on the sides and popping out of the water. You want them to stay below the surface and do a nice flutter. All four of them are running perfect, so I really can't ask for uh, much more than that. It makes my uh, day a lot easier. I thought I was gonna be battling with incompetent plugs, but these are well-seasoned, well-trained plugs by the looks of it. Bam, 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 all four rods. 
trolling pretty good. We're doing about four miles an hour. I'm gonna pick it up to five miles an hour, six miles an hour here in a second. But we're in about 85 feet of water. Right off the edge of the reef here, we got Florida Keys, Key Largo right over there. And I don't know if you can see that bird up in the air, but right there it's about 10 feet of water. And we're right on that edge where it goes from the shallow reef out here to 80 feet of water. And we're just gonna troll these plugs along this edge. And there's also buoys everywhere, I think from commercial crabbers. And hopefully we'll manage to avoid those, but not, can't promise anything. And bam, look at that. We are marking, marking fish down there. Oh, marking some pretty good fish, so. Hey, we might get a bite. Phew. We had a fish on and I'm busy fixing my mic over here that I couldn't get the hook up. It was on the bass, on the bass shaped uh, lure, the red one. Damn it! What's wrong with my phone? See, this is why YouTube drives me crazy. I, I'm trying to fish and I lose a fish because I'm too busy videotaping. Oh no, he's still, wait, is he still on there? Hold on. Oh no, nah, he's not on there anymore. Damn. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Could have been my dinner right there. Woo, that's a big wave right there. Damn. Oh, I just had a hit on this rod. Damn. All right, so we've had two hits. Oh, it just hit again. Right as I put the rod down. That was crazy. All right, all right. We're getting hits. <laughs> I'm getting pretty excited here. Oh, sh big fish on, big fish on. Oh my God. Yeah, baby. Big fish, big fish. Okay. Oh. Okay. This is gonna be tough. Uh, all right, um, how are we gonna do this? <laughs> I don't really think these things through ahead of time. I got four rods out. I got a moving boat. I got waves. <laughs> okay. Uh, do I have, a, I got a gaff. Oh, my boat's doing circles. Ah, ah, okay. What do we got? Let me at least see the fish. I just want to see what it is, please. Oh, I am tangled in all the lines. Oh no, he doesn't want to go this way. Okay, I'm going to put the boat in neutral. So that way we, oh, I got to go back this way. Oh, oh, uh, okay. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's a big fish. Oh my God. Uh, I see him. I see him. Holy smokes, it's huge. What is that? No way. That's so awesome. Whatever that is, it's big. Oh, oh my God, it's a kingfish, I think. Where's my gaff? It's on the other side of the boat. Ah, I wanted it. Yeah, baby. I got him. I got him. <laughs> what, baby? Woo. <laughs> oh, shit. What did he eat? Oh. We did it. We got ourselves a fish. Woo! All right, now I have a bunch of lines out that are all probably tangled with each other, but uh, you know, it's, it's all good, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, there, we got a tangle right there. All right, so he ate the uh, the colorful boat bigger lure. It's looking pretty good, all right. What we're gonna do, we're gonna bleed them out. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> all right, I'm trying to calm down. Sorry, I'm a little excited right now. I don't mean to yell in your ears, but uh, Look at that, there we go. Smacked it. Okay, I'm gonna slit his throat and then bleed him out. All right, I'm back at the dock and it was getting a little rough out there. I was getting splashed. I was getting all my brand new camera equipment completely soaked and my mics and I just bought them. So I just put all my camera gear back. I caught the fish that I wanted and I raced back here home to my dock and look what we got in the cooler. I didn't even bring ice. I just kind of, uh... 
kept them in the live well the whole time. But yeah, there we go, a beautiful kingfish. And we're gonna be staking them up and throwing them on the grill right now for dinner. That's my favorite way to eat kingfish, fresh and staked. Just some salt and butter, that's it. So we'll cook him up and I'll see you guys at the filet table. And I gotta say, I am very surprised that all of these plugs swam perfect and even caught a fish. You guys know I've been struggling a little bit with the fishing. You know, I've been having boat issues and then when I could get out, I just wasn't catching fish. I've been having trouble making content and I got my boat back in action. I go out and these lures catch fish right away. So I'm like, I'm pleasantly surprised. For 90 cents for a, tr oh, a dive plug? Where can you find a dive plug that swims right and catches fish for 90 cents? That's kind of uh, kind of mind blowing if I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. Damn, he had all three hooks were in him. That's crazy. There we go. Timu lure right there. Who would have known? Let's cook ourselves some food. Went upstairs and got myself a knife, some napkins and a paper towel. And I found a little wind, like a little uh, wind mic to put on top of this mic. Could have used that about an hour ago, but we got it now. And we are going to stake this kingfish. And what that means is you literally stake them. So I'll just show you what I mean. Um, I like to start my stakes wherever your stakes are big enough. So in this kingfish right about here. And you just cut straight up like that. And then we're going to cut about one inch stakes. So right there. And that's it. That is a swordfish or a kingfish steak right there. Wow, you see, I'm thinking about swordfish already. Now that my boat's back in action, I'm thinking all sorts of crazy things. And I will wrap it up in a paper towel, put it on the plate, and I will just cut as many steaks as I can out of this guy. And then these steaks are gonna go right on the grill. The tail end piece is a little too small to steak on this guy. And you know, if I stake that, it would be a little ridiculous. Luckily, Captain Elliot, my, my all black kitty cat, he loves fish. So I saved this tail and this will be food for him for about four days. He can eat off of this. All I do is fillet it. Bam, there's a nice little fillet for Elliot. He will get full access to these steaks. He'll once again be a very happy kitty because he eats like a pretty good kitty. Look at that. And whatever's left of this kingfish, head, the tail, the organs, that can go in our crab traps and catch us some more food. Let's go to the kitchen. We got Elliot just showed up. Hey, come here, buddy. I got some kingfish for you. Yeah. Elliot. Fresh fish, bud. Put it, I'll put it down for you right here. <laughs> yeah. First he's gotta get some get some rubs before he eats his fish. Guess that's his way of saying thank you. Yeah, that's a good kitty get. Alrighty, we got our kingfish and I'm gonna season up like four pieces. I think that'll be plenty for dinner tonight. Oh yeah, that I want the juicy one, that one. Um, ooh, that's a really good one. Look at that. Yeah. There are two seasonings I'm going to be using. First is the South Florida Fishing Channel garlic and onion. And then the other is just some good old salt. In this case, some malt salt. Just give a nice, healthy dash of salt to each piece. And then some garlic and onion. And we'll do the same thing to the other side. If you think you're not going to like it, I would suggest at least trying it once. And the, the key is you gotta use fresh kingfish, either the day you caught that kingfish or the next day, but that's pretty much as long as you wanna wait. It's gotta be pretty fresh. There you go, ready for the grill. We got a nice hot Traeger and we also got some melted butter. So we will, first we're gonna butter up one side. And we're gonna end up dropping the buttered side onto the hot grill. And then we will butter. And then we're gonna keep flipping it, keep buttering it, keep flipping, butter, flip, butter, flip, and uh, that's that's about all there is to it. Just drop them on. Ooh. It's 
my lucky day. Oh wait, I'm I'm an idiot. Yeah, buttered side down. What am I thinking? Now we're gonna butter this side, and like a minute or two, we'll flip them and we'll butter them again. You know, just keep flipping them. You wanna? They kind of require a little bit of maintenance. Kingfish steaks, keep them flipping, keep them buttered. You don't want them to dry out. You don't want them to burn. That's the key to a good uh, kingfish, just to keep it moist, because it's gonna be super juicy when it comes off. A little piece may have fallen off as I was taking it off the grill. And let me tell you, we're about to enter heaven. This right here is beautifully cooked kingfish. We have this golden brown kind of crisp on both surfaces from all that butter, flip, butter, flip, butter, flip, butter, flip. Must have flipped them six times. And the meat just, it just comes right off. Juicy. I'm telling you, if you've never tried this, it's a game changer. That salt, a little bit of garlic, little onion, that salt in the butter is really what brings it all together in this fish steak. Anything you could ever want from a fish. Mm. Wow. Let me grab my fishing pole. I wanna show you guys how I had it set up and then we'll end this video. Got my fishing pole. One more bite, please. So hungry. Mm. So this is the Salus X. Uh, 5,000, I believe. Yeah, Salus X 5,000, the PC fun reel. Awesome trolling reel. And then this is the plug that we caught the kingfish on. It still smells like, uh, like a fish. And you can see the teeth marks right in the side of it. Now, one thing that I would recommend doing to, to any of these lures, and I do this with all lures that I buy from any store that I end up trolling offshore is I take off the existing hooks and I put on beefier hooks, stronger hooks. Cause you know, if you have a Wahoo grab it or a really big kingfish, that could maybe be a problem, but it handled the kingfish today just fine. And then those swivels that I got, I just attached the swivel to the nose and that's how I trolled them. Just straight to the, uh, this is, 50 pound monofilament line and bam, I trolled it maybe, I don't know, hundred feet behind the boat, 150 feet and he got slammed. I'll link everything that I just showed you in the video description below if you wanna go check it out. But thank you for watching this video to the end. Got a lot more fishing videos coming your way. So hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.